The Daytona 500, Joey Logano brings them to the line. Denny Hamlin to his inside, it's on. Kevin Harvick in that four was really pushing Clint Boyer in that 15. Well, buddy, I tell you what, that was a pretty good restart for that 22 car. He can go where he wants to now. I think he'll stay with Boyer, though. I, I don't know what it is, but I think he and Boyer got a little something going. Hold your breath for the next 30 seconds as four cars try to break away from the field. Uh, that 22, it, it, it reminds me of Matt Kenseth and the Unlimited the other night. That 22 is out front. He's hard to catch. Big cluster coming off turn number four. Smoke, oh, man. trouble, way in the back, but here come the leaders. The question is, are they going to throw the yellow or are they going to let them race back? Seven, eight car pile up in the back straightaway. Caution is oh, out. out. Get Joy Logano. Just keep coming. Just stay on the gas. Back straightaway. Stay on the gas. Coming to easy here. They say, they say roll out of the throttle. It's over, boys. Coming it's over. Middletown, Connecticut's Joey Logano wins the Daytona 500. The kid quarter midget racer dreamed of one day going big time and beating Jeff Gordon. You not only beat Gordon, you beat everybody else in the field. Your first 500. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. This is uh, absolutely amazing. The old Karma train didn't work out for him so much, but uh, this is awesome. This is uh, Daytona 500. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? I was so nervous the whole, the whole race, pretty much. And, uh, Man, Tab, my spotter, crew chief Todd, all the guys on this team, they worked so hard over the off season. This is our weakest racetrack, so it's super speedways. We were terrible at them last year. We worked really hard, and hard work equals results every time. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of Shell, Penzo, Coca-Cola, uh, Ford, everyone that helps us out uh, with this thing. It's unbelievable. Daytona 500. Hall. Oh.